<laughs> Warner Brothers is busy. So apparently the plan is for War all of Warner Brothers' major releases for 2021 to be released on HBO Max at the same time as they go to theaters, assuming that any theaters are even really open. But that's part of the thing, isn't it? Basically, they had kind of reached a point where they had one of two options. They could either keep pushing things back or they could start dumping things onto streaming the way they've already decided to do with Wonder Woman coming out later this month. And somehow they decided to find a middle ground and still have things show up in the theater, but also on streaming. Now, I would imagine that in some ways they took advantage of the incredibly weak bargaining position that theater chains are currently in, i.e. they have no standing at all right now. They, <laughs> they're not bringing in money. So they, they really have no clout to swing about. Because under normal circumstances, this would not fly. At any other time other than the time of COVID, theater chains, the major ones at the very least, so like AMC, Regal, they would say, screw you, you do this and we will not show your things in our theater at all. Thing is, they can't afford to do that. It would honestly be a little bit of a bluff even if they tried to do that at a normal time, but they'd at least be in a position to try and bluff that. They can't even do that now. They need to take whatever they can get, and they know it. So this is kind of interesting, and I, and I suspect some people are going to start wondering, well, who else is going to do it, with eyes sort of leaning towards Disney, because Disney did decide to put its latest Pixar film, Soul, onto Disney Plus later this month, actually same time as Wonder Woman's going up. So I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of people start to speculate that Disney is about to announce the same thing. And I'll say it's possible, but it's definitely not a given, and here's why. Warner Brothers needs the boost more than Disney does. And by that, I, when I say boost, I mean immediate boost. Because ultimately, these films being released in this manner are going to make less money than they would have uh, assuming they, you know, if they had done what they were projected to do and expected to do in box office at normal times, that would have brought in more money than what they're doing now. So in terms of long-term getting, truly maximizing the amount of money they could make, they'd be better off holding out. But the problem is, well, there's several problems. The overriding one being now that AT&T has bought Warner Brothers, they are breathing down the necks of the entire organization. And if there's one thing you don't want to do, you don't want to piss off the new bosses who have no nostalgia for you and how you run your organization. And the simple truth is that HBO Max, while hardly a flop, it's, it's all right. It is lagging pretty well behind, well, definitely Netflix and Amazon and even Disney Plus by a, quite a bit. And they need the boost. They need the boost of putting these movies out in theaters and taking what they can get. They need the boost to HBO Max. And I talked about this a little uh, when I did a video over on the Council of Geeks and talked about the release of Wonder Woman over there. Because the thing is, HBO Max doesn't have that many killer apps to it. It's got, you know, uh, a collection of the things that it has, either that Warner Brothers just flat out owns, or um, the things that they have gotten the licensing rights to, things like Friends and Doctor Who and, and a few other things like that. But the thing is, the library isn't, it's not bad, but it's not enough to make you go, oh yeah, I'll, I'll grab that and in addition to... Disney Plus and Netflix and Amazon and Hulu. And like, look, I have HBO Max, but I can write off the expense because I talk about things that are on there for a living. For most people, no. And honestly, I might not even have HBO Max if I hadn't decided to get stuck into Lovecraft Country. And honestly, I might have ditched it until the Snyder Cut came along if it hadn't been for the Wonder Woman announcement. That's kind of the thing. They need stuff to keep people there. Disney, 
while, again, they could do the same thing, the simple truth is they don't need the boost. And actually, let's be honest, Disney planned their launch a heck of a lot better, definitely in terms of the programming that they were putting on it. So you look at the biggest franchises that Disney owns. Star Wars. The Muppets. Marvel. All of these things, they had things in the pipeline to release tied into those. The Mandalorian, the new Muppet show. We're going to have WandaVision pretty soon. Uh, they've, they've started now, I think, shooting the Hawkeye series. They, they had planned a whole bunch of Marvel things for Disney+. Plus. And the Mandalorian was like the big launch thing. But they, they had already planned to keep dipping into their cash cows on this platform specifically. Disney doesn't need to put the Marvel movies onto Disney+. Plus. They've already got Marvel stuff starring Marvel characters from the movies and the actors from the movies on the platform. So they actually arguably wouldn't even get that big a boost by moving, say, the Marvel movies onto Disney+, Plus and either skipping theatrical or doing this, like, at the same time thing. They don't need the boost, and Disney wouldn't get that much of a boost from it, because if you're really a Marvel fan, you're already going to be in on Disney+, Plus for the stuff that's coming up. Whereas HBO and Warner Brothers, what's Warner Brothers' big properties? Well, there's DC... They bungled that because DC was like its own app and then eventually it got integrated into HBO Max, but it's all stuff that's completely disconnected from the characters who are in the movies. And they have not synergized this very well at all. And so anything that they can do that would simultaneously get them some stuff from box office, whatever they can scrape together, and potentially buoy HBO Max. And like, that's the other thing. HBO Max doesn't offer a lot to people who already had, say, HBO Now or HBO Go, even. They haven't done a great job of selling it. It's not a flop. It ain't Quibi. It's, I don't want to imply that, but I have no doubt that AT&T is looking at the numbers for HBO Max and then looking at what Disney Plus is doing. You know, not that's before even talking about Amazon and Netflix, who are in, in their own realm. But they're looking at this and going, hmm. So to be blunt about it, this is this is happening because Warner Brothers and HBO are a little bit more desperate. Now, I don't I don't take my saying that as meaning it's a bad business decision. Under the circumstances, it's actually probably a pretty good one. And it means that regardless of where the stance and the state of the pandemic is, come summer next year, I'll still get to see the blockbusters in my home. That'll be nice. I do actually appreciate that. Uh, ideally, I'd like to actually see them in the theater. I miss going to theaters, but it's nice to know I won't have to risk that just to see the new movies. So from a personal viewership experience, I'm like, yeah, okay. But whether or not it's good for you personally, that's, I mean... That's up to you. I, I found the business elements a little bit more interesting to talk about or ramble about in my uh, person with no inside knowledge and a heck of a lot of speculation kind of way. But anyways, Warner Brothers putting their whole 2021 slate onto HBO Max. What do you think about it? Whatever your thoughts are, drop something down in the comments. Let's talk about usual stuff like share, subscribe. I have a Patreon. That is how I pay my bills. That's how I'm able to afford things like HBO Max, in addition to the fact that, yes, I do get to write it off on my taxes because I review things through it. But anyway, regardless, if you are able to help in any amount, it is greatly appreciated. Even if you're not, the other stuff helps me out. No pressure. We take a relaxed attitude around here. So just come on back next time you need a break.